about to go nuts in this bitch. You're, you're a woman, you don't know. Sir, you might need to get glasses. It's better to be pissed off than pissed oh. off. Put your money where your mouth is. This customer walks up to Ashley. This guy again. Ah, oh, my favorite. Got a mink coat, a bomber jacket. Can you take a look outside recently? Oh, it's cold out there. I mean, seriously, it's the middle of summer. How do you know it's mink? I know, I know what mink feels like. It's not mink. Out of nowhere, the situation escalates. Silver Fox. It smells like mink to me. It's ripped. It's ripped. It could have ripped when I was walking up here. Who knows? Laugh. Man, laugh louder if you're going to smile. Time you come in here. It's something new. What'd you say? I don't You know what? I never liked you. Uh, really can't smile. stand you, stand you. Security steps in and escorts him out. He's leaving. That's all. He's leaving. Come on then, bro. Let's go. Keep walking. The hell, you little bitch. Mother the out of here. You ain't piss me off. I was in a bad mother mood today already. Michael is back, but now Seth has to deal with him. Michael's out there again. You can deal with him this time. That's fine. I will. I don't know why you waste your time. Wasting your time. Michael, oh, tell me really? you got something good for me. I got this vehicle right here. I bought it in 09. Original owner, bought it brand new. Negotiations commence. How much do you want? Blue booked right now for about 12 grand, want 11. You're a businessman, right? How am I supposed to make some money on it? Something does not add up. Let me see the title. Um, I don't got the title on me, but I got this though. How much I paid for it? You want to sell me your car? You didn't bring me the title? How do I know you don't owe money on it? You, you, you don't know that. Why don't you bring me something that's actually worth some money? At least in the end, he gets something out of Michael. You know what? I got something else that I might want to get rid of. I think if you want to talk about it, let's go inside. How much you want? I want seven grand. I scrap this down, I'm looking at 5,000 bucks. I'll give you three grand. 4,500. Four grand. You know what? We got a deal, sir. All right, my man, it's a deal. We have a customer in a bit of a tight spot. Here from California, do some construction, you know, buy some home. Made the wrong turn, got robbed. I got nothing left, dude. I got a watch, trying to get some money so I can sure. get back to California. Les inspects the watch. How much did you need? Three, 400 bucks. Well, the bad news is those aren't diamonds. Are. It's glass. No, I can go 80 bucks. However, upon hearing Les's offer, the customer's mood takes a nosedive. 80 bucks ain't even gonna give me a bus ride, bro. Normally we go 50, but I'm gonna give you 80 because I like your story. You like my story? So getting robbed is a good story, no. The conversation quickly turns sour. Detroit, man. People who are here are garbage, and you're garbage, man. Don't come in with us. We'll you up. Back to Detroit way. Having reached his limit with the unhappy customer, Les ensures he is escorted out. Give me my watch. Outside. No, give me my watch, please. Now, get your hands off. No one's gonna with Detroit. Let's go, let's do it. Up next, we've got a customer eager to sell his brand new vacuum cleaner. Still in the box, man. My wife went ahead and called the professional, so. Now you're trying to sell it. Yep, I'm down to get the best deal in town. It's time to get down to business. You know, maybe you guys can use it around well, here, no, man. Right. We got our boy got... Larry. Larry takes care of all the floors. Like Larry's slacking. So how much are you looking for? Following a bit of back and forth, it seems like Seth may have come out on top. About 150 bucks. 60 bucks? Not any bucks, Seth. 70? 85 and it's a deal. 80 bucks. 70 is a fair deal. Yes, I, I gotta take it, Seth. Roll with it. However, a knock on the door interrupts his piece. That copper cleaner is used. It looked like he used it, packed it up, and put it back in the box. He told me that it was brand new. So what'd you do? You look in there, rust stains in there, tape it back up to make me think it was new. I don't want him doing business here anymore. Confronting the customer, who is now caught red-handed, Seth ensures that this is not repeated in the future. If you get caught trying to scam us, you're done. We're not suckers. I'm not. We're not suckers. Two daycare workers walk into the shop. I have these earrings I'm trying to pawn. We're trying to have a pizza party. So how much money are you guys looking for today? Uh, 300. We're gonna do cupcakes, giveaway, got it. Ashley is more than happy to lend a hand but there's a snag. So I'm gonna be able to help you today, but not necessarily with 300. I sell these for under 200. They're real earrings, they're real diamonds, but they're not gold. Did you know that your backing is also broken? After Ashley clarifies the value of the earrings, she also presents an offer. Okay, how well, much are we looking at? So they're gonna be under $30. With their initial price slashed by 10 times, the customers seem to toss their manners out the window. You need more than that. Yeah. This would Definitely take care of a couple pizzas. Are you listening to what we're I do. saying? I think you need to put your listening ears on. Yes. You sound a little cranky. Did you have any yeah, breakfast today? The annoying tone of their voice gets under Ashley's skin. Do we need to get your daddy over here to help yeah. you? We need to give us the 300 right now. Really? It's the boy. Right. It's the playground. It's always on the playground. Right. Right. 
Yes, I am. You're a real bitch. In the next scenario, a pair of ladies enter the shop. I'm here to pawn these earrings. Okay. Trying to get $350 for them. However, after just a few exchanges between Les and the customers, a tense situation unfolds. Why are you swearing? Because you're asking me why I'm coming in here to handle my business. That's not your business, why I'm coming in here to do what I got to do. The customers persist in hurling insults at Les. What your sign say out there? Jewelry and loan. This jewelry loan me my money. How many kids you got? I'm coming in here with my jewelry to get money. How many kids you got? She just told you. Les decides to be honest with them. Man, you getting on my nerves. I ain't even looked at my do you know that these aren't real? These are real. How the f you gonna tell me just by looking at my They're not real. As the situation intensifies, security is summoned. And what's the deal, dude? No, Dang, just, we just having just, a conversation. Ladies that act like ladies are treated like ladies. Well, Say it's f leather coat you right, right It's on. a thousand degrees. Who the f right, left? Left? Where's Les? The customers continue their verbal onslaught against Les. I ain't leaving this bitch till, till you give me my money. money. A long line of waiting comes with unhappy customers. Uh, hello? Standing in this line all this time. Hello? Been in the line two hours? Damn, for real? For real? Can't nobody hear? Seth tries to explain the situation. Do you, do you not see what we're doing, ma'am? Are we not being here? I've been here for two months. Put some in your staff. You're talking to me. You should be ringing them up so I can get up out of here. Him and his simple ass. Hello, been in this line two hours. My need to go get my lashes done. Why are you so loud? Because I've been here for two hours. Be gone. It seems this customer has the whole gold family's attention. I don't like her. Don't like him. You need to fire him or hire some of these motherfuckers in this line. Because right. they moving faster than your people. Now things go even further after the confusion. What are you pawning? My necklace, my ring. But it's the wrong line. You're in the wrong line. What the Security has to step in. A gentleman is looking to propose to his lady. Today is a good day. My baby girl, we've been together three years. I want to propose to her. I'm going to blow her mind. You know, I'm going to sing a little song, everything sing. for Baby, love you. I want to be with you the rest of my life. Take this and be my wife the rest of my life. So let's start here. Let me get that one, though. I like that one. However, there seems to be a problem. You want 500? 500 is what I got. That's right on the nose. Here you go. So you got a credit today. Yes. There's a problem, though. This is a year old. Credit's only good for six months. The customer becomes very agitated. I want to be with my lady. I want to marry her. What the hell am I supposed to do? I want the ring. Oh, hell no. This this ain't happening today. You better go get your boss. The boss is me. I'm telling you, that ring is coming with... Well, man, what is he doing walking up on me, bro? Security steps in. Man, you better back up off me, bro, before I snap. I'm sorry, bro. Why did you just take your man, teeth out of your mouth? You learned some in prison, dog, and you don't even want to see it, dog. Man, man get, get up off you ass. Hey, I'm telling you, we get married Bump today, dog. dog. Snag one more time. I'm going to show you what it's about, my boy. I'll put you, I'll put you in a hole, dog. Man, I'm quick, man. I'm quick, dog. Y'all, I'm up out of here. Les welcomes a customer who is looking to get her item back. I know the computer is in here. Show me the ticket. And I'm a, I don't have it with me, but okay. I have my ID. Brand new Dale in the box, never been opened. However, there seems to be a misunderstanding. Yeah, she does have a fur coat. Huh? We definitely have your fur coat. No, I want my computer. You have a fur coat in front. I, and I understand that. Y'all don't know how to talk to nobody. I'm the little dog. Taller no, than no. I am. Yeah, I'm a big, powerful mother big dog. Security is right there to take care of the situation. Now, what would you want? with a poor bitch's computer. I run this mother I'm like the VIP up in this bitch. So find my if I'm stupid, you stupid. We just two stupid mother Well, the problem is, so her out of here. Yeah, it's enough of it. Right. Yeah. Like I'm that big mother 
That's right. Two brothers walk in trying to sell a non-existent item. You guys are brothers? Something like yeah. brother from another mother. I got a sweet deal. So bought this team for a hundred dollars. Football team, fantasy football. Oh, paid many. AJ Green, 700 is the first place. Where prize. does it show me that? 700 is the first place. Oh, prize. so you're okay, just I'm telling me. Seth gives them a piece of his mind. You're so doing, you know. you're doing well, but you know, here's the thing. You're not bringing me anything besides like a hope and a dream, and I don't pay for hopes and dreams. Why well, you gotta be an ass, man? Man, you too little for football, here. man. You man. paid in pee wee league or something. Security shows them not to mess with the big leagues. Maybe you want to talk to my associate. Who's, Who's your associate? Your associate? My what biggest head. What? Yeah. Have a nice day. Who's gonna have the little league? Oh, this next customer is looking to pawn a ring, but there is an issue. I'm gonna pawn this ring so I can pay my bills. Can you take it off? I can't take it off. You can look at it. I can't take it off because my hands are fat. Look how fat our fingers is. Can I try? Yeah, you can try, but it ain't coming off. Stop. I told her to take it off before she got. She don't listen, man. Ashley tries to help. Can I give you some cream? You can try. Just try to wiggle it, just lubrication. It ain't loosening. Messed up, man. It's man, messed what up. What is that you put on my girl's hand? I'm hurting her finger. Yes, it is. Trying to put it off my finger. I have to go to the hospital to get my girl finger checked out, man. Because of your ass. You hurt my finger, now I go to my emergency room. I'm going to have to call my lawyer, baby. You're going to pay my doctor bill. Ashley has had enough. You oh, gonna, you going to pay my doctor bill, and that's it. Hook, meet the crazy people. Crazy people, meet hook. I bet y'all bring my lawyer back up here. This bitch. Two ladies walk in looking for someone in particular. Is it Ashley in here? Mm -hmm. Today is my birthday. Mm -hmm. You all said my ring is not here. Where the hell is my ring? Is the uh, ring in pawn? Is, is it, it in layaway? He brought a receipt in here and you all said he came Do to Do you have the receipt? He came up here with the receipt. Well, who the hell is Ashley? They become more agitated. It's the same bitch so... that I talked to on the phone. Do I need to come up here with a lawyer? We got a $20,000 ring up in here. To... Ashley finally steps in. Well, I... That I pick my up. You don't have a dumb bitch here. You walking up on me for your ass can get drunk too. You want to? I ain't seen you want to? A couple walks in with the lady very agitated. Who the f told you this TV? Excuse me. He found my $500 TV and this is the TV he's bringing me. I don't want that. I want my TV back. Let me see your receipt. So you want to get out of pawn? So you have the money to get out of pawn? No. Seth tries to help, but there is an issue. He's a jerk. He shouldn't have found my TV at all. He just always messes up. This woman whooped his ass all the way in the parking lot. How you gonna keep selling my TV? Smack your ass again. A lady looking to pawn her gold item. I'd like to pawn that, please. I'm gonna get two fifty today. Oh, uh, they usually give me three. No, not two fifty. Get a manager. Two fifty. Ashley steps in. Just because the price of gold is going down, that's not my problem. Here's what you're not understanding. No, I want my $50. I'll give me my extra $50. Come on! Things begin to go south. Hey, give me my extra money. You had to bring him around because you're scared? Take your bracelet and have a good day. Stork, you ain't big. Have a good day. Well, I rob you. Have a good day. American jewelry pawn, whatever you are. A lady looking to purchase a massage chair is welcomed by Les. I was trying to get a massage chair. And okay. I how much you're trying to sell it for? Seventy-five dollars. Les gives the price, and the back and forth begins. Been on the internet for twenty. I have more money in it than twenty dollars. I can't sell it. I could, but then I would lose money, and then you are getting a little too loud. You could bring it down a time. Oh, you gonna do it today? Why the f are you losing money? I want the chair for twenty dollars. Security has to step in. What's your big Amazon ass over here for? I like big men. I will break you down. Yeah, yeah, I care. Let me help you with the court. Let, Let me help you. Let me help you. Calm down. I will karate chop Calm your down. ass. Okay. I want this chair. Give me $60 you, you can have. Still demanding the chair for her price, Les has had enough. Thank Did you get your hands yeah, yeah. so oh, you off me? Oh, no, no, Get your hands off me. Don't. Y'all got me oh. up. Oh, did you just throw my mother? I know mother. Oh. I know my oh. ass. Oh. The woman took the wig off and look like little rich next in line we have a customer who made a mistake and i'm not about to let y'all just take my computer like What's that it's already taken yo people made a mistake she called up for an extension on the tv not the laptop les has had enough and calls in a replacement she well, didn't you put the on the tv i talked to the lady on the phone i ain't calling no tv i'ma talk to a tv y'all snatch your out you a crooked ass owner
I wasn't going to be abused. Let me pay the interest on that for y'all snatch that out. A non-functional watch has this next customer walk in the shop. I bought this watch from you guys a couple days ago and it's not working. I hate my money back because this just this isn't right. Ashley seems suspicious. Do you have your receipt? I do not. I don't know. How'd you pay? Cash? I spent a lot of money on that thing, man. I would appreciate you didn't, you didn't swear at me. I spent a few thousand dollars on a Rolex. The customer gets annoyed at the interrogation, so Ashley takes a look. Do you wear contacts? You can see well, right? I can see very well. What does this say? This is bull****. You guys must have ripped me off somehow. It is a watch, but it sure is not a Rolex. Come here. Well, I'm going to show you where your Rolex is. Come here. I'm going to show you exactly where your Rolex is. How about I work your face? Really? He finds himself somewhere he does not want to be. Really? How about it? Get the Here you go. Paid for it. A customer walks in eager to return a pair of diamond earrings. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Give the receipt? Uh, no. The gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. Um, no, well, this one didn't. The situation takes a turn for the worse. I don't have the receipt. Yeah. You know what a receipt would look like if I had one. On the receipt, it says no cash refund. Mm -hmm. These are fake. Despite Ashley's attempts to assist, she dismisses the help. Anybody buying any jewelry from here? Don't get no more jewelry from hey. here because this hey. ain't good. Hey. Can you help me? Can you give me my money? No. Oh. Wait. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your I coat's can't. so tight? Back and forth with Ashley seems to make the decision for the customer. You can leave. Where? Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Ain't and no motherfucking receipt. Hell hell no. Hell no. Hell it's time to leave. This is Joe. Joe. How are you He's going to show you to the front door. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. Little ass baby. You need to go get fair right quick. This next customer enters the shop in search of an expensive watch. Nice watch. You know what I'm playing? That is sharp. You want to try it on? Wow. Look at this watch. Like this right here. How much is this watch right here? 75 bucks. I don't want no $75 watch. A watch like 500 or something. Yeah. A Bugatti. Oh, now this is real nice right here. See, here? Bugatti, when Bugatti go out, he got to look right. I want it. Upon agreeing on the price, he pulls out a $2 bill. Before you say something now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's worth a lot of money. I should get some change back. Look, look at it. Two and add three more zeros. Cash me out. And guess what? You got to give me some change. Ashley is left puzzled. And it's worth $2,000. It's rare to find a $2 bill that got red in it. I'm about to go deaf right now. Oh, don't, don't piss off who got it. You little chunky, draws looking person. She has security promptly removed this customer from the shop. You owe bologna sandwich. Y'all ain't got no money. Big Mouth is hungry. <laughs> You're hilarious. Real upon you. We have a very impatient customer. Hey, man, I've been over this motherfucker for about 40 mother minutes, man. This motherfucker money, dog. Y'all got me fucked up here, man. I need some money, though, bro. Hey, back up, man. I came up here, man. Keep taking here, cousins, man. man. Hey, man, give me some money, dog, right now, dog. Seth steps in. Man, y'all better give me something, dog. I've been over this motherfucker for 40 fucking minutes, bro. Uh, we don't take them. I need some money, dog. Give me some. Can't give you anything. What the fuck you mean? We can't help you. If you can't talk about it, I saw one last week in this bitch. Seth is very straightforward and to the point. What about your watch? You want to pawn your watch? Hell no, I ain't selling my money. So then I don't know what you want from us. We're not taking this. It's been live for about 40 minutes, bro. Seth has had enough. All my customers are I don't know about that shit, man. Yeah, man, what up, man? What's up? We don't care. I don't care either, man. Don't touch me either, man. Don't touch your Put your hand on me. While Ashley assists a customer in selecting a ring, screams echo in the background. I'm looking to, uh, for a ring for my girlfriend. The worst service I ever had in my life, ma. Ashley decides to go over. Something. Help me in the store, ma. Well, I'm about to go nuts in this bitch, bro. I'll be right with you. No, I want you right now. I'll be right with you. Give me a second. For a hundred. Can I get some help over here, please? Hello? Sir, give me one second, okay? Sure. Yeah, I've been waiting here for an hour, dog, to get some customer service around here, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Despite her efforts to assist, the customer is still unsatisfied. Hey! Your people just gonna tell me, oh, no, I'm no, no, no. I'm giving you help. Like, for real? For real. What are you gonna do about it? She guides the customer away, yet his actions leave room for regret. Do me a favor. Wow, all I did was ask for help, bro. Don't touch him. I really never want to shop here at American Jewelry and Loan Store. Yeah. Deuces. We're in for an intense moment as a customer strides up to the counter. I need to see a manager. I'm here. I got a problem. He's dissatisfied with the VIP card he received at the store. Got a loan on my wife's ring. And when I first started coming here, I got a VIP card. Now you guys put me to a gold card. 
and I get nothing out of it. No, the VIP is the goal. They're both one the same. Thinking his imposing physique and aggressive demeanor will intimidate Seth. How much you get? It's a 385, and now you're upset. Why? What are you guys going to do about it? I'm going to allow you to pick up your ring when you have the right amount of money. He attempts to assert control. You're not listening to me. I am hearing you, but you're not listening to me. <sighs> you think this is funny? He keeps making threats, thinking this will make Seth comply with his demands. Dude, my arms are bigger than your leg, bro. And your brain's obviously not. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you going to do about it? I am not going to do anything about it. Even while being escorted away, he continues his theatrical display. Really? My man, have a good day, my man. Really? Have a good day, sir. Oh, yeah. big man? Yeah. I don't think so. Have a good day, man. Have a good day. Hell no. This Where are we going? My house. Right no, here. I'm not going home with you. That's what I thought, bro. Looking to do a trade, we have a customer walk in with a bag full of tools. Well, I'm here to trade my plumbing items. This is a... Uh... Torch. Yes. Yep. So how much do you need? I was looking at this ring right here. $5,000. The customer is quick to jump to conclusions. How much do you think this little flashlight is? It's $90. You're, you're a woman. You don't know. Really? Are you married? I feel bad for okay. her. Ashley makes a decision for the best. It's not worth the amount of money that's going to pay for this ring. That's a bunch of crap. Trade. I'm not trading your flashlight for a diamond ring. Now, doesn't that sound stupid? Take your no. out of my store. I hope your toilet backs up. A classic 1966 Thunderbird is sitting at the front of the store. And what do you got? I got a 1966 Thunderbird. So why do you want to sell it? Honestly, I want a convertible. But will the price justify it? How much are you looking for? 35000 Why? This is an unrestored original. This car hasn't been touched. Every single part you see here is original. Seth is not so sure about the validity of the car. It's a very cool car, but it's not worth the money you're asking. If I said 10 grand. No, I'll bet. See? <laughs> Even the customer finds himself confused by his explanation of the car's value. Say someone brings in a car that the previous owner of that car was Brad Pitt or Ryan Gosling. So... So what? Uh, does that, in your minds, bring up the value of the car? No. No. So tell me what that meant. What the hell are you talking about? They pop the hood, and Les calls the customer out. And you can find them all day long on the internet under 10. Original, unrestored. Bullsh I'm willing to bet money on Double that. or nothing on the car. Put your money where your mouth is. Over that top, I'll show you something. Les, First of all, Les. this is original. Are you kidding me? Bullsh He's cares. trying to get something over on Who me. Who cares? Tell me this is not repainted. Sir, you might need to get glasses. Well, I appreciate you bringing it in. Thank you. Thank you very much. This customer seeks help. She just sent me over here mm -hmm. to get my money. I lost my ticket. So you didn't pick up your money? No, that's why I'm right here to pick up my But Seth notices something. I see that was already given to you. I didn't pick up Give me my $80 so I can go. How about you just go with $80 that we already gave no. you? And you gonna stand at the glass? Give me my Got me up, man. Give me my Next up, we have an unusual situation. Chad! Excuse me, sir. Chad! I know you have been this mother Where the f you at? Can you please get him? I'm sorry, but who are Can you? Can you just get him for me? And he's my boyfriend and he's not paying child support. You're That's his girlfriend. I yes, I need him. The lady doesn't seem to back down. Can you just get Chad, please? He's working. I do have a Chad that works here, but I don't have time for this today. I don't got all day either. Ma'am! You piss me off. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Like, I got all day to just be wasting Keep, my time. This young lady would like to see you. That's not him. Seth has had enough. Y'all playing games with me now? This lady is out of her mind. Y'all gonna play with my intelligence like I'm crazy? That's the only chat that works here. No, it's not. Oh, you're Where talking he about at? chat. The tall guy with the waves. Yeah, Chad. He just went outside. Where the f he at? Byron, we'll keep that lovely lady outside. Oh, yeah. He's He's out here. He is over there. He just went over there on break. A little bit further. You ain't about to keep playing with me. Ch Chad, wait a minute, Chad. What about the kids, Chad? Chad, don't, don't run. Man, I'm about to go hamburger on y'all fools. A very handy customer runs into trouble. Come on, man. I just seen you knock it over, bro. Bull. You didn't just knock this over, my man. No. I've been here checking out this here couch, you know, and uh, my man walks over, knocks over the lamp. I picked it up to protect y'all's establishment. My man blaming that on me. Put in front of the facts, he gets defensive. I don't know how the I got know. broke. I saw you knock it over, bud. Oh, you got any money on you? I'm That's not paying question. for the lamp. I'm yeah, you are. through this. Security shows him his place. Crazy enough. How quick to I do what? I should 
Man, get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Fire him. Yeah, come on, son. Fire him. What you going to do? That's fine. What you going to do, man? Good. Good job. Hey, you wanna watch Ben? Oh my god. What kind of bitches? Damn. Unbelievable. <laughs> I guess you don't have any money for the lamp. A man dressed in a very odd way walks in. What's up, man? You alright? You wanna stay? Oh, where the walking? I got this one free. I work there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, do you? Then feel free to lay your chicken on the counter. Alright, and look, this is what I do. So I got chicken and fingers sucking. Come for a plucky. I still don't see no man watching. I want that right there. The dude, 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 don't put the chicken on the counter. Seth tries to help him, but he is a handful. What's counter soup? The soup? Yay, yay! Oh! Can I see that right there? Sure. You see it? No, oh, I want to touch it. We'll talk about touching it later. 1200 bucks. 1200 bucks. I gave you 1200 beef and chicken. Security has to help Seth out as he is out of pocket. I, I stopped the chicken. Touching chicken? Let's go. And you know what? He ain't got to touch me. A customer walks in to complain and Les is there to help him out. Hey, I need to speak to somebody up in here, man. Man, come on now. You the owner. Turn around and pay for that. What's up with that? Come on, you gonna talk to me? Orderly, I'm speaking English yesterday. Yeah? Duff? What's up? Things go from bad to worse. Look at that dog, man. Come on. Stop yelling. About to make me jump over this counter in a minute. Show me the receipt. I ain't got no receipt, man. What am I supposed to carry it with me? Give me my money back now. Security and Les have enough and take care of him. Let's walk over to the refund department. We're going to go right here to the refund department. I ain't going over there. Man. You going. Man, you ready? Man, I ain't going over there. Get yeah. off me, man. Let's go. Bring I the receipt. Right now, yes, Bring the receipt. I don't like this place. Merry Christmas. Looking for a loan, this customer receives some bad news. Hi, I'm trying to uh, pawn on this train. I want to get like 250 You want to be able to take this? Why you want me to take it? Because it's not real. You got some dreams. Where's, where's your mother manager at? Ashley steps in. Why are you screaming? Excuse me, what? Because I want my mother money. I'm a boss. That's what I do. Get my money. This isn't real. It is real. Look, is you going to give me my mother money or do I have to come get it? Where's it at? Back up. First of all, that's not real. Why the keep saying it's not real? You will not scream at me. What you going to do? She does offer an option, and that seems to do the trick. What can I get? Let me see your watch if you want me to help you. Do you want me to let you pawn your watch for 250? I'll I'll take the 250. You've been a great help. My pleasure. Now I'll come back again. Up ahead, two ladies attempt to return an item. I picked this up late last night. I was the last customer in here. I had a yellow canary diamond. Oh, so he switched it in pawn. Yeah. Les and Seth attempt to assist, but their story becomes increasingly dubious. Guess what you did? Wait, who you am I talking? My, my sister. I'm on the ground belt. Uh, I don't know why y'all looking at me like I'm a joke. Can you make it a yellow star? That's all I want you to do. You make that's it a yellow star. Ah! Ah! You want me to snap? As tensions rise, security intervenes. I don't want to be stupid. Now I can pull a scam in here. Yes, they switching diamonds. American Jerry, a boy. A couple looking to return their item. She's like, okay, well, you know, there's no returns on this. Oh, well. It does not work. See, it was as is until after the fact. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself because you are a scam. Les tries to help the customer. Swipe Listen to what I'm asking you. I saw them. Listen to what I'm asking you. Let don't say that on this If you let me help you, then maybe there'll be some issue I can take care right. of. I'll let you. Right, tell is. me okay. when you're done so I can talk. talk. Please, just give me one second. Once you I have this. You. Okay, then I'm done. Liz has enough and shows her out. I'll make sure I make a note of this place. I'm going to come back. Treat me with respect. I'll be more than happy to take care of you. A limping customer walks in. Hit a pawn. Oh, if I don't constantly take my pain pills, I'm constantly in pain. They want to cut on my leg again. I got stabbed here in St. Louis. Now I get back home and get my leg up at work. Right. When I got back to return to work, they tell me I'm fired. <laughs> in a tight spot, and not in the right state of mind. Something is evidently amiss. Hope like hell y'all can give me what I need to go get my medication. $79, and my pain is clicking, 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 clicking. Why not? So how much you need? I need $100. What's left now is to find some middle ground on the price. Got to have gas to get up out of here. I can get, you, I can get you 80 bucks. Give me 80 bucks. That's cool. That's got I can help you out. I got an extra dollar throw in my tank. This lady is here to pick up her coat but notices something amiss. I came to redeem my coat. Okay. Oh, my coat. I miss my baby. Where's my baby? Oh, there go my baby. 
Oh, uh uh-uh. Excuse me. Les nearby goes over to help her. It smell like roadkill, Bambi's grandmama, and everybody else. Oh, no. I don't want that. We gotta kick my coat with your dog. She gets angry, but Les has an idea. Would you like me to spray some uh, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Excuse me. If I was everybody, I'd run up out of here. Smell it now. Oh, Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall off. Does that smell? Right here. Spray Doesn't that smell it. good? I think not. Finally, she exits the shop. No. Uh, follow me. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, see. I will follow you. Because I got two for every day of the week. You, you decide that. that your no. nasal passages no. are open. That don't smell like my coat. Up next, a gentleman is in a heated argument with an employee. Case it. Where the f- case at? Where he okay. put them up in there? That's the, the way it came in with like the kids. That's I know, the way it came I know. In. Less isn't buying the excuse. You gonna act like I ain't got no six? People try to pull this scam all the time. What a case at? You're leaving. That's all there is to it. Yo, you ain't gotta put your belly or none of your body parts on me, bro. I know how to mother. Walk. However, it seems there's only one option left at this point. And you were not even standing there when I pondered it. Somebody need to blow this place up. Don't it's time to go, sir. Walk. Can You're I get the, my weed? He'll get it for you, don't worry. Starting things off, a customer wants to sell his necklace. Um, do you know what this is? Sterling silver. Well, 200. Give me one second. All right, so I just tested this. Um, it's actually not sterling silver. Tensions rise. It's real. Let's check it again. No, your machine's f-ed up. It's real. Oh, You're f-ing I, lying to me. Don't you think I want to help you out? No, you don't want to help me out. You're a bitch. You're talking to me in a rude tone, snotty. Give me my f-ing back. Security has to intervene. You. Me? You. I brought my f-ing up here to it's, you. What the f- are you gonna do? Get out of our store. You're not my bitch. Almost there. Thank you. Bobby J meets up with a customer outside. Brother, I'm trying to find my uh, snowblower. Yeah, bro. You get it fired up for me? If you can get it to work, we might be able to do something. But it worked. But I, I'm not seeing it work, though, is what I'm saying. But it worked, though. I used it. It's still, it's not running, though. You might have broke it. I might have broke it? Yeah. It seems this customer is a bit delusional. I mean, you want to talk to a manager or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. guy wants to pawn this to us or sell it. It's not starting. You're going to take it? No, I don't think so, sir. Yes, you is. Or what? Why are you getting all hostile, brother? I'm just trying to give me some money so I can pay some bills, bro. Want us to push it out for you? No, you're not about to touch it. Les shows him the door, taking care of the situation. This man. You know, I'm some bull. I don't take threats lightly. Come in demanding. Take it and leave. Moving on, a customer with nothing on pawn in his name. You got ID? Show me. Here was a guy that proceeded to hand me a driver's license, which had a different picture than the driver's license that was on his ticket. Put your thumb on there one more time. Please. Neither of them matches? That's Steven. Who is Steven? That's serious. Uh, really? It's serious because I wanted to get the same price. This guy tried to pull the wool over our eyes and we busted him. What, what, what's the hold on? He used your ID. Tensions rise and security has to step in. Working, man. a fuck ass motherfucker. Get the out. Here, take your money back. Here. Your brother's playing some games. This guy tried to be a big shot, you know, making a lot of noise. I don't give a how big you are. I'm in your face. Two customers come in and meet up with Seth. And my nephew had pawned his TV in. Uh-huh. And when he came back to get it, it was already being sold. He had to rebuy the TV. He realized that it wasn't a remote to it. If it didn't come with the remote, I don't know if I had the remote. And right. I know I pawned the TV in with right. the remote control. Well, Saying, that's you bought it without the remote control. Well, but y'all don't even sell TVs without remotes. Try to. Things begin to get worse as voices raise. You give my nephew his remote right now. You want to see? You hush, yeah. nephew. I got this. You got one back there somewhere. I got lots of them. Security has to step in and deal with them. What kind of business are you running here? Have a nice day. You run both me. I don't think he hurts. This customer wants to sell a couple of items. I have a foreman and a coffee maker I would like to sell. Uh, I brought these from home. There's coffee still in it. Well, quite naturally, I made coffee in it this morning. The coffee maker itself is quite dirty. But isn't that your job to clean it up? No. Ashley is grossed out by it. But this is a Mr. Coffee. So if it was brand new in a box, I could buy it. I mean, this thing is quite gross. I asked you nicely. Oh, you're going to take this coffee maker and you're going to take this for me. Oh. And I would like to have $100. That's right. Well, I'm not giving you $100 for your I filthy, just... disgusting 
Mr. Coffee, whatever the hell you make on it. You stupid, dumbass. No, I'm not. And I'm gonna show you outside. Follow me. Get in my damn phone. Follow me. I got man. Get your damn hands oh. off. You crooked. You crooked. You crooked ass. Oh. A customer claiming to have bought an item and wants to return it. Just bought this coat here about a week ago, riding down the road, and the thing just shreds up. This coat looks a little beat up to me. Do you have your receipt? No. Isn't this receipt enough? You just seen me here last week. I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I want my money back, or I want another coat. Can't help you unless you have a receipt. The employee does not budge. Uh, how about I just take one? I don't really recommend you taking one. What are you going to do? I'll just take one. Uh, Byron? I'll take this whole damn wreck. Hold on, my man. Hold on, I'll take man, this whole wreck. Calm down, man. Let's go. Look. Walk yourself out, bro. The thing's flopping in Here, the damn wind. Watch your coat on that exhaust. It might start a fire, bro. This customer walks up to Seth trying to return her TV. Excuse me. I just bought this TV. It's broke. You have a receipt? No. Bought it yesterday. You don't have your receipt. No, I do not. The situation escalates. Did you drop it? Bought it with a crack on it like that? Yes, I did. I need you to give me my money back. Where's your receipt? I don't have the receipt. Can you hear me? Do I need to get louder? Who the hell do you think you are looking me I'm up and down? Sorry. Oh. I want my Excuse money back. Excuse me. Security has to step in. Where are you going? Go home. Customer wants to take an item out of pawn, but there is a problem. I'm gonna get my ring out. You have your ticket with you? No, I don't have my ticket. They didn't give me one. Well, I don't have it. You are not in the system. It, it, got, to, it got to be here. Seth takes over the situation. So you came here about how long ago? I came here two months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have you in the system, man. I'm in a mother system. Look it up again. Can I talk to somebody else? You're talking to the person. Can I talk no, to somebody you else? Can't. Dr. Tuck, cut your ass back there behind that motherfucking window. Not behind the window anymore. Okay, could you please find my ring? I don't have it. Robin, thick looking mother. She gets kicked out of the store. Don't touch me. I want my ring. Away. I want my ring. I want my ring. I need my ring. Seth is approached by a very impatient customer. Good, how are you? Hey, man. Hey, hey, bro. You hear me, man? Hey, why don't you get off the phone, man? Yeah, I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that, man. Oh, I ain't trying to hear none of that. <laughs> bitch boy, bitch boy, I know you hear me back there. I need my man. Seth has had enough of the behavior. That ain't got to do with me. Sure it does. Ain't my ass. That ain't too long, man. I get it. We're short-handed today. That, man. Bring your ass from back there, then. What the f is your man. problem? What? So no, now I'm out behind the window. Now what? I'm a bitch. It don't matter. I don't give a about none of this. I don't give a about him. Oh, you don't? The boiling point is reached. You know Time for to go. I want, come on, bro. You're going to push me out? Man, my shit in here, bro. I want my mans, bro. I want bro right there. You heard me? Right man, right nobody right trying to hit that, man. Right and nobody right trying to hit none of that, right man. Right come on, man. The customer was attempting to retrieve a ring her husband pawned. Can I ask manager? That's me. How can I help you? My wedding ring that's $5,000. You guys have it. I want it back. But Ashley, unable to verify her ownership, refused to release the ring. Where's the pawn ticket? I was doing my husband's laundry, and I pull his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. So your husband stole your wedding ring? We're having financial problems. I get why he did it, pay for it, and get my ring back. Did you make a police report? How am I going to make a police report for? Can okay, so get let in me... the computer okay, so and let look me... up the name, okay, tell me how so... much I owe you, and give me my Despite being denied, the customer persistently spoke down to Ashley. I asked you to look it up. I also How hard is that? You look it up in the computer, you take it, I pay for it, we leave. It's not that hard. Let me talk. Give me my ring. Ashley reached her limit with the customer and confronted her directly. You bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Bring it. Take Get your hard. pretty little feet. Walk your pretty little legs. Go back I'm there, not. give me my How hard is it? Recognizing the escalating situation, the security personnel swiftly intervened and promptly escorted the customer out. Do you shut up for a oh, second? I never shut Get up. the hell out of here. Up yours. I want to see you oh, walk outside. Please. Screaming. Can't type anything to a computer. Oh, this bitch. I'm going to come back and get my. I promise I'm going to come back and get my. This customer might not have had much schooling. What can I help you um, with? I was trying to find out because your sign was saying that I can get 30 days of free cash. If you're a new customer with us, first 30 days you can get interest-free loan. But it's saying if I brought a friend with me that I can get 30 days of free cash. It's for an interest-free loan. But that's not what the f y'all saying is saying. Seth tried to help, but it made things worse. Bitch, it says I get free cash 
I'm not getting no that? free cash. Where does it say that? Who told you to give me that? I need my cash. I need my cash. It says it right here. Free cash. Someone else got involved and started criticizing the customer. Read what it says. Yo, can you waiting to get a message? This led to a big argument. Even after being kicked out of the store, the argument continued outside. Next, we have a customer trying to pawn a TV. Looking towards pawning my TV and my DVD player. Can't take that. And realistically, I'm not going to be able to give you a loan on that TV. It wouldn't matter much to me. I would rather sit here and talk to you. This customer seems to have plenty of time as he tells Seth his life story. I'm really a somebody, you know? I really am. You seem to be hero of this nation in which you're standing in today. I have been an all-American football player. I got a... $80,000 resume. I was security slash homeland security off. I'm only 20. Okay. You can't find nobody else dog like that. Again, Seth sticks to the matter at hand. There's nothing I can do for you. This stuff is just too old. But look, I'm trying not to just make this difficult. No, a lot of me. I said perfect. You understand? And take it out of here. Seth is not one to back down from a challenge, especially on home turf. How about I have you take it out? I don't. You think you scare me? So get the out of here. You make it. You want to see me make you? Yeah. Walk. Back up, dude. I ain't touching you. Don't touch me, man. Man, I'll break his face, man. I bitch press your weight, little dude. Why don't you take that piece of shit and get off the property? Okay, Squeaky. Time for you to go. Standing in line, we have two ladies arguing. Oh, that's lying. No, I told you. I didn't want to come into some other <laughs> game. Every time I, we go somewhere, you got to stop. Look, bitch. Hands and shit done for tomorrow. Ashley approaches the two ladies trying to grab their attention. Why the f you always motherfucking ask me to f grab with your stupid ass? Yeah. What the f you want? Shush my ass. What the hell you want? Security was ready, but not needed. Yeah, it's very inappropriate. There's kids around here. Why do yeah. the motherfuckers yeah. bring the f kids up in the pawn shop anyway? In the end, the two ladies leave on their own. Oh, bitch, if I fall, I think got a lawyer, mother Kiss my ass, how about that? This customer looks perfectly normal at first glance. You get a loan on this, please? A hundred dollars. I can do the hundred dollars. Can I have your ID? And that's with my 20%, right? The sign right here say I get 20%. I get my hundred plus another 20%, which make 120. Employee tells him that this will not be possible. No, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. Is you serious? You ain't never seen the sign? I'm supposed to get 20%. You serious? You're going to give me 100. Yeah. I need 120. I can get Les and the security guy both notice the commotion that he is causing. Bro, the sign right here say I get 20%. Read it. To get 20% more on your items, you need to have an existing loan at another pawn shop. He grabs the sign that he is talking about. I need my $20. I want $100. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me prove my point. Hey, 20% won't cash to anybody. Right. It's the D, right? Right. The way that... give it to me. No, sir. Why? When Seth tries to explain the situation to him, he keeps yelling. False advertising. I guess you think I can. You're not letting me talk. Then if you don't want to let me talk, then get the out. Come, oh, come behind his glass then, bro. Seth takes him up on his threat. Give me my mother hundred and $20 in this bitch right now. Can I get my money? No, Please. actually, I'm not even offering you the $100 anymore. Oh, for real? Not, yeah, for real. F you in that $120. He then prompts the security to kick him out. Appreciate I'm that. I'm taking the sign with me. Down nah, for the sign, my man. I'm gonna take some Kick the mother sign. I'm not Nine ass mother I'm gonna give my mother $20 worth. Huh? $20 worth right there, bitches. We have a customer looking to pay her ticket. I wanna pay on that. I don't know how much it is. I need two fifty nine fifty. dollars You say what? I say you check your computer again. I say no. Baby girl, I got <laughs> to do. Tell me what I owe you, because it ain't no 200 and nothing dollars. Seth is nearby and is included in the conversation as well. That I don't need it. Don't I don't need, need your ID. Check your tough ass up, because ain't nobody talking to you, homeboy. You're a customer to me, so how can I help I'm you? I'm not no customer to You're you. Not I love some bullshit. And who are you? Can you read? Can you read? Bitch, please. I got Bitch, it. Bitch, please. This customer goes so far as Seth also notices something on her hand. They had red cups. Maybe there was some alcohol. Maybe they were drunk. Toast to that. I don't want your ass. Go get your manager. Get the f out my face, dog. Or else what? <laughs> the customer decides that the best action to take in this situation is to make Seth 
a promise. You know my baby daddy, he, he do a lot of Oh, yeah. I'ma call him, come up here and, yeah. and f you up. Is that a threat? Bitch, please. It ain't no threat, it's a promise. Seth hands her ticket back, and along with that, security comes as well. Don't touch me. I, hold on, get off me. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> get off. Y'all out for bush. I don't know what that woman knows. Y'all know who y'all f with. Next up, we have a customer who also goes too far, but not for what you might think. Look, there's a horse out there. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, yeah, oh, watch oh, out. Oh, watch oh, out. Oh, We're oh, coming. Oh, Hi. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Ashley is both amazed and concerned. Okay, I'll meet you right out there. You lead the way with the horse. I don't know how the hell she didn't knock over lamp showcases. Oh, okay, I'm done. Woo! This is the one we need to buy. <laughs> the gold family assembles, and the pony seems to be Ashley's dream. What are the prices? Uh, he's at thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Yeah, he's at twenty-five. Would you take a thousand? I take fifteen hundred. How about twelve fifty? And you include the board. One month. Two months. But will they come to an agreement? Yeah. Split the second one with you. One twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. The kids will have fun. I think the family will have fun. I think I should start to learn how to ride it. Looking to purchase a pair of lucky earrings. This next customer has a bizarre request. Actually looking at these crosses. 100 bucks. The only thing is, I'm going to the casino. Okay. And I need them in my ear. I want someone to put them through here. You're not even pierced yet though, are you? In your ear. The employee is shocked while Ashley overhears the conversation. Wait, what are we piercing you with? Just earrings. Wait, what? We can be held liable if we do it. It appears that the customer and Ashley might have come to a solution. You will actually have to put you them have, in. You have. I will make the dots how they normally you do, do it. You can push them in his ear. That's straight. Fine. But of course, there is a reason why there are professionals for this job. All right, let me dot you up. Are you ready, dog? Come on now. Go. Oh. Holy <laughs> that went right through, didn't it? It didn't even move. Is it all the way through? Yeah, dude. And it bent. You really f it up. Yeah. Post is in his ear without the cross. So it actually broke and snapped off in his ear. However, the customer and his friend don't give up. This thing's bleeding like a sieve. You're not on the black dot. I'm on it. Oh, oh I heard that. The other side looks like but that looks good. This one didn't work out so well, but I'm hoping that at least one of the crosses gets me some good luck at the casino tonight. Next up, we have a customer looking to pawn her ring. I want to pawn this ring that sure. I have. Diamonds around it are Swarovski crystal. The type of gem has Seth and the customer going back and forth. Swarovski, yes. Swarovski, no. Uh, my grandmother gave me that ring before she passed away. If they were Swarovski, right? If they were what? Swarovski. No, they're Swarovski. Seth can't seem to get to common ground with this customer. If they were, they wouldn't be sending anything fake. There are Swarovski crystals on the outside. And I'm not leaving up out of here without no money for my crystals. I'm not interested in your crystals. Do you not understand English? Do you not English. understand the word Shavasky crystals? No, I don't. I just, so what the f are you talking about? But what the customer shows Seth, he cannot place in pawn. I have something that's real. Really? These right here, these, they're real. And they're real, can I get some money for those? Or are you gonna give me some money for something? <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. The customer proceeds to leave the shop without a deal. Fake it, right. you right. don't know it's no all, crystals when you fake. see them up. You bitch, whatever. And I just mother came all the way to over here. Next in line, we have a couple looking to sell their watches. Fine, I'm actually looking to pawn these two watches because I'm trying to get the hell out of his house. You guys dating, married. Was engaged, but not anymore. Her cheating. You was the one messing with bitches at work and It doesn't matter anymore, so. Whatever. After having learned the life story from the ex-couple, Ashley proceeds to negotiate. You want to sell them, correct? Yeah. Minimum 15 or 25. That's not enough to Dollar? get out the house, but. Look, why nobody talking to you? So shut up. Whatever. Shut Come up. On. So the problem with the watch is that it's not working. This one, I am not, because we don't take this brand. Fake. No. That's the brand. It seems this couple still has unfinished business. Shut the up. Over. She ain't over. talking to you. Don't Don't Come on. Get the f on. What she. Sell to her crackhead Whatever. or something, you know? You, know? you never had no life before me. You never had no life before me. After getting slapped, he drags her outside the shop to settle the matter. Let's go. Let me go. Let's go. Let's get the f off of me. I hate you. Ah, get off of me. Whatever. You just a f to me. It's not big anyway, so if I want to cheat, I will.
This next customer walks in looking for his girlfriend's bracelet. Um, I'm here to uh, get my girlfriend's uh, bracelet back, tennis bracelet. I'm not allowed to just give anybody's item away. Look, hold on a second, slow it down. I can't go back empty-handed without her bracelet, okay? You guys said I didn't need it. Come out we would have never, ever you told you that. And just like that, we have a situation on our hands. Told you what? I don't know, I didn't get a name. Okay, back sure, where's the ticket? It's her I don't have a ticket. What? I got to be on my flight by 4 o'clock. I appreciate that. Well, let me get my bracelet, bro. Sure. I need a ticket or a notarized letter. That's the only way you can get the bracelet. Things continue to become tense. You guys said anything. it was okay on phone, bro. Give me the You're calling that's... a liar now? You're just... I'm calling a liar. You're calling me a liar, yeah. bro, from behind that glaze. That was perhaps the biggest mistake this customer made. We're going to make this really, really simple. You're going to walk out the door. I'm not leaving without it. Make me get out then. Why? Yeah, you're going to stand behind those people. Poor little f uh-huh. Give me my bracelet. What do you need your boy in front of you for, huh? Snack hungry, this customer has a big issue on his hands. Look at this one candy bar sitting in front of the ones I want. My favorite candy bar. Man, that's the dude. First of all, look at this candy bar. I just want to try to open this gate up. Somebody open this door. That's what I'm saying. Seth approaches quickly and waits for his turn as the customer keeps rambling. Hey, Don. You want me to break this piece of crap, dude? Get your hands off me! Call the police, do what y'all gonna do. You I ain't going out nowhere. Still causing commotion outside as it seems he has forgotten something. Yo, think of this Just because y'all got these big cars don't mean shit. All I gotta do is open a candy bar up, man. Go get my damn payday. Y'all think this shit is a joke. That's all I'm saying. Seth makes sure this unwanted customer is removed. Man, I don't even want to see you, dog. So get the off the property. You get the off the property. Think y'all look at me like I'm a piece of trash. Oh, you gonna throw my water like that, man? Don't throw my damn candy bar like that. We have someone who the Gold family is very aware of. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Now what? Did you get rid of your other tools already? Yeah, I got rid of one tool. She's at home. The customer is looking to clear out his van. So what you got here? That's a few tools, man. I'm trying to make some room in my van. How much you want for this now? Um, Just tell me what you want. Negotiations start. I'm thinking about it, brother. I ain't in that much of a hurry. Okay, how much you really gonna want? Two fifty. How much you really gonna take? Probably go a hundred bucks on all of it. Yeah, that would be it. Hundred bucks. After a lot of back and forth, the deal is sealed. But that is not all. Yes, you sir. want a hundred bucks? Yeah, well, hell, every little bit helps. That's what the woman said gotcha. while she was taking right. I gave him a decent loan on his stuff. He gets our money, walks over to a customer and tries to buy merchandise. You don't do business with my customers. Les approaches the customer once again. Is this your store? Oh, no, sir. So when you're standing in line and people are coming in, you're trying to buy stuff from my customers that are standing in line? Hey, why you smoke to me? You know I'm crazy. Let me see the money that we just gave you. No, it's in my pocket. Show me. Well, I, I want to see. I want to make sure. Show me the money. No, Let I'm me crazy. see it. I ain't stupid, man. Quit playing with me. Les might tolerate the behavior of him as a customer, but not when he tries to do business in his store. Well, you do know that this ain't your store. Keep your ass out. Keep your ass out. Thank you very much. Enough's enough. It's time for this guy to leave. Bitch, mad mother <laughs> Crazy grizzly. <laughs> Two customers walk in looking to hit the jackpot. <laughs> the earth is shaking. The ground is moving like... <laughs> All the commotion has Seth approach the two customers. You got nothing for sale. And so, therefore, that's what made her and I come over here to yeah. try it. You really think I'm about to pay you money? Explaining the purpose of the machine, Seth is met with disagreement. This is what a toy. Is here for the toy? Can you tell me where it says in English anything that you want, anything. You want to talk to the manager? You are. You are. You're the manager. I'm the manager. Oh, nice. You're, 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 you're not. You're not the manager. Where did the state work? 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 Security steps in to put an end to the commotion. You know we won. It's as big as day. We won. Out of order. Thank you. See you later, miss. Where did my daughter go? I don't know. Can't miss her. Mama, come on! Y'all out of order! A father looking for a birthday gift walks into the store. Trying to find some jewelry for my daughter. Her birthday is in like two weeks. She's gonna be 12. She's gonna be 12. Yep. Yeah. Ashley is disgusted by his actions. Do you want to play next? I've got allergies, man. I itch like super bad. We have a heart one. It's really pretty. Ashley shows the watch to the customer. Can I see it? Can I just show it to you? I can't try and like look at it. That's bull. Ashley's action is not appreciated. Can I see the sanitizer for a second? 
I'm not going to use sanitizer. Why don't you guys go yourself? I don't even care about the sale anymore. I just want him out of here. Classy. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.